Hi, I'm Mark Thompson, Head of Faculty for ICT at Oriel Specialist Maths and Computing College. Today I'm going to show you how to take the background away from an image using Adobe Fireworks CS3 using both masks and the magic wand tool. Here's our picture and we've got a, well, an iPod Nano 3G um, on a desk and what we want to do, we want to take the desk away. Um, and the easiest way to do that is by creating a mask. The masks are dead simple to create. Take the pen tool in Fireworks, <clears throat> and what you're going to do is just clip around the outside of your image. Okay. Doesn't matter too much if you're not as accurate as you think you need to be. But when I get up to let me zoom in, I'm just zoomed into 200 percent To get around the corners, I'm just going to do quite a few clicks closer together. All I'm doing is just clicking, just click, click, click. Being especially careful not to click and drag. And I'm just coming out to 66% here. Okay, and then we can just slide along, clip to the end. Okay. Now I'm using the pen tool because the image is not with a consistent background, okay, the grain of the table is not very consistent, okay, it would be quite difficult to select this with the magic wand tool. So I just click around the outside, okay, and I'm just basically I'm tracing around the outside edge of the part of the picture that I want to keep. Again, it doesn't matter if you're not entirely accurate, now you just need to join the path up. And you can see here on the corner, I'm a little bit wobbly, so I can use the sub selection tool, the white arrow, to just maybe just nudge that corner out a bit. Okay. Right, now the secret to this is clicking on your mask, make sure the fill is white and the line is transparent. Okay, it must be transparent. And give your edge a feather. Of about in this image, because it's um, it's a five megapixel image. I'm going to use about ten pixels. The fewer number of pixels, the fewer pixels you should feather. And the reason we feather is that we just take out those small mistakes that you may have made. Okay, it's just a little bit of a, a cheat. Then on the layers panel, if I shift click those two areas together. So they're both selected. I've got the bitmap, if we just zoom out here, I've got the um, bitmap selected and the path itself selected. And you can see they've both got a blue outline here. The, uh, on the outside I've got a blue line around the picture and a blue line around the path. And if I just now go to modify, mask, group as mask, the iPod is now on a transparent background. Okay, I can make that now, change the canvas colour, I can put it on an orange background, I can then click on my iPod um, and give it a glow. Okay, I can give it a little white glow around the outside, I don't know, mess around with it, put some filters on it. But essentially what I've done, I've managed to take away the desk that the picture was on, and replaced it with transparent background, colour my choice, I can now put that iPod anywhere, insert it into any photo I want, knowing that I don't have a background. Okay, this is a really simple way using a mask of removing the background using Adobe Fireworks CS3. This time our iPod is on a solid white background. Um, in the previous one we used the pen tool to create a mask to go around the outside of our iPod as it was on a background that um, was inconsistent, it, it, was, it was different. Here, really nice and easy, solid white background, all we do, we select the magic wand tool from the bitmap section of the tools, we click, and as you can see here, we've selected the entire white area, okay, just the white area. If I now just hit delete on the keyboard, okay, you can see the background's gone, Instantly, my iPod is on a clear background. 
nice and simple, very straightforward. Use the magic wand tool if you have a consistent background. Click the background, delete it out, job done. If you want to find out more, visit us in class or go to www.youtube.com forward slash Oriel ICT.